Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to simulate a current control voltage source circuit in PCPies. So actually in this figure 6P circuit, this is actually a fairly complicated circuit and if you know how to simulate this circuit, you will really brush up every skill you need to simulate a circuit in PCPies. So here this source is actually current control voltage source, you can see 10 I1. And this I1 is this current flowing through this 10 ohm resistor in the right side and also you can see a uh, a voltage control current source here also. So let us see how we can simulate this circuit piece by So the symbol for uh, current control voltage source is H in piece by So you can see that we have drawn this, this exact circuit over here and you can see that we have used G for voltage control current source. So here the voltage is controlled from this node and this node. You can see uh, from the original circuit that the voltage is controlled from the voltage between these 5 ohm resistors. So the plus is here on number 1 node and the minus is here at number 2 node. So we can clearly see that the voltage is controlled from A and B node over here and we have used bubble here. So A and B node. And also we can see that uh, the gain of both these sources is 10. So we, we use gain as 10. You can see that here that we have used a 10. Also we can see that from here that we have used 10. Also this Voltage source, uh, this uh, voltage source is uh, controlled from the current source from this circuit. If you did not see my previous video, you can check it out to uh, see how to connect current control sources. So, here we have our circuit, we have drawn it clearly and all, never forget the ground in piece by. So, if you simulate this circuit, you get the node voltages and also the current. So, you can see that V1 is 100 volt. As expected, this one is a 2.857 volts, this one is 1.905 volts, and this one is at 0 volts. So we have drawn our circuit. We can also do that by hand calculation and see and also check that if our result is correct or not. But we will use netlist to verify our results. So here you can see that I have written a netlist over here. So let me open the original circuit. Okay, so this is our netlist. So you can see that V1 is between 1 and 0 and a 100 value, V2 is between 4 and 6 and the value is 0. So where did this come from, right? So this comes from, as you can remember, the current control sources need uh, a dummy source. So this one is actually a dummy source between this node and this node, okay? So as you can see that the current is actually flowing, uh, the control current is flowing from this node to this node, so you use a dummy source in this node. And R1 is 1 to 2, then R2, and the rest is done as similar. And current control source H1 is controlled through the current source of the dummy source. The current of the dummy source. So here V2 is the dummy source. So, the here. so the only difference here is that you can see that in dot pin common we use W. So what is this W doing? So if you know the P spice uh, arguments, this W is nothing but power. So Run this in our P spice AD. We can cross verify our result and let us check. Okay, so I have saved that here. And if I open my dot CIR files, so and let us run this. So our analysis is completed. And if you check our, you can cross verify your results from here. So you can see that V1 and V is W R1. And W R two the uh, the power through resistors W R one R two R three R four R five and also W B one W G one W H one so this is nothing but uh, our piece by command so W is used to find the other uh, uh, power power so sorry also you can you could if you want uh, use other commands like dot print and also use port so this actually helps you to uh, clear, clarify your idea about the circuit. So you can see here we use a voltage control current source and a current control voltage source. So if you know how to simulate the circuit, it should be fairly easy and always uh, try to use bubble because this makes your circuit really fair and simple. So uh, if you can use bubble properly, you can actually make your circuit look really neat and clean. And also uh, you can check here for your voltages and here for your currents and also if you uh, just move this you can see that the current is flowing from this node to this so this is really helpful to see 
from which node to which node the current is actually flowing. So you can see there, here the current is flowing in upward direction, and here the current was flowing in downward direction. Here the current is flowing from left to right, and uh, here the current is flowing from uh, down to up. So this is really helpful while uh, simulating the circuit. So always remember this. Also, you go, you can uh, practice on your own uh, at home to how how to analyze any circuit. So. Uh, we, you can grab any electrical technology book and simulate, try to simulate circuit and do that by hand to cross verify your results. So that is all. Thank you for watching.